हेलो यू ऑल एंड वेलकम टू एवरी वन ऑफ यू लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन अवर सीरीज ऑफ सोल्यूशंस टू जेई मेन टू थाउजेंड एटीन फिजिक्स आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ए ग्रेनाइट रोड ऑफ सिक्सटी सेंटीमीटर लेंथ इज क्लैम्प एट द मिडल पॉइंट एंड इज सेट इन टू लॉन्गिट्यूनल वाइब्रेशंस द डेंसिटी ऑफ द ग्रेनाइट रोड इज टू पॉइंट सेवन इन टू टेंशन पावर थ्री के जी पर मीटर क्यू and its young's modulus is 9.27 into 10 raised to power 10 pascals what will be the fundamental frequency of its longitudinal vibrations let me repeat a granite rod of 60 cm length is clamped at the middle and is set into longitudinal vibrations the density of the granite is 2.7 into 10 raised to power 3 kg per meter cube and its young's modulus is 9.27 into 10 raised to power 10 pascals what will be the fundamental frequency of its longitudinal vibrations the choice is r 7.5 kilohertz 5 kilohertz 2.5 kilohertz and 10 kilohertz let's try to understand the question this is a very simple question from standing waves before we go any further Let's watch this short video clip on standing waves. We know that the speed of longitudinal waves comma c is equal to root of y divided by rho where y is the young's modulus and rho be the density of the material. or c is equal to root of 9.27 into 10 raised to power 10 divided by 2.7 into 10 raised to power 3 which on calculations give me 5.86 into 10 raised to power 3 meters per second in the given problem the rod is clamped at the middle therefore the middle point should be a node whereas the two ends are free to vibrate and must therefore be anti nodes so in the fundamental mode of vibration l is equal to lambda by 2 or lambda is equal to 2l or lambda is equal to 1.2 meters now the fundamental frequency nu f is equal to c divided by lambda or is equal to 5.86 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 1.2 which on simplification gives me 4.88 into 10 to the power 3 hertz which is closest to 5 kilohertz and my answer matches with the second choice of the given choices important note as mentioned earlier in my previous video that you always get easy questions from chapters that are usually neglected by the schools whereas you get relatively tough questions from chapters that are dealt in details in the schools sound and waves is the last chapter in your class 11 course and is normally neglected by the schools i hope you found this question to be very easy in case you have difficulties please communicate your problems to me through the comment box don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel and do visit again for the next video till then happy learning